welcome back to my channel i am so excited to be back you have no idea guys it's been a long time and i'm talking two years time flies but um i wanted to start up again doing videos so i'm super excited to be here and we're going to start off by making this adorable cup um you can put candies in here a small gift it's really sturdy i used 110 pound card stock for this and yeah it's 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 pretty strong um so let's go ahead and get started all right, so what we're gonna be using here is a um, scoreboard. You're gonna start off with a piece of cardstock, 110 pound cardstock, nine and a half inches by seven and three quarters. And then we are going to score. I already did it, but I'm gonna let you know what I scored it at. So I started off on the long side. I scored at one and a half, at three inches, four and a half, six inches, seven and a half inches and nine inches okay then on the short side we went ahead and did um oh on the short side this side here uh, one and a half inches and then five and a quarter okay and then we don't need to use this anymore we're done with the um with the scoreboard and then um i already did this but you go ahead and you start burnishing um those those lines those score lines okay which i already did that just for the sake of the video and then what we're going to do is we're going to make a couple of cuts here. So while the short side is facing down, as you can see, we're going to go ahead and cut this little square here. So let's go ahead and do that. And a few other people have done this video. There's some other people who have done the same cup. Um, so I, I'm not the creator of it. I'm just a replicator. Um, but anyway, okay, so that's that. And then we're going to go ahead and cut this. See, I'm going to fold this. You can see this is the long side here. This little box here, we're going to cut that as well. We don't need that. Sorry, I'm trying to stay in frame here for you guys. Like that. And then we're going to go ahead and cut here and here. Just a little, to make it into a tab. Just like that. All right? Now, now we got to pull out our... Um, uh, what is this called? Our punch envelope punch board. Just like this. And we're going to make a couple of punches. So, on our short side here, this is I consider this the long side. There's the short side here. We're going to go ahead and start making holes. So, there is... Let me try to go up here. We want to line up the line to a little silver line right there and then we go ahead and we punch I'll show you on the next one it's a little bit uh, clearer on the next one and then you fold again I'm gonna bring it back up so you can see what I mean you see just like that and you should line up with that silver piece in the center and you're gonna do that all the way down You need a little bit of elbow grease. So how you say it? Oh, it's a workout, let me tell you. And I believe that this paper that I'm using is not even 110 cardstock. I didn't have any more. Um, I think it's a 60 pound, 60 pound, 65 cardstock, pound cardstock. Okay, so once we did that, we can put that away as well. And then we're left with this piece like this. Now this is where you take, I cut six pieces of three by one and a quarter inch. And this is these little panels here, okay? Now what I did incorrectly on this one is I butted up against the line and I don't like that look. You should give it at least one eighth inch from the top. So that's what I'm going to do now. So on each panel, about one eighth inch. And I use this double sided tape. I use regular paper. You could use cardstock if you want as well. You know, whatever you want to use. And you just lay these down. It's not going to be perfect right now because I'm trying to stay in screen. And okay, we're almost there people, we're almost there. It's really not that hard to make it so you can knock this out maybe in less than half an hour 
It's that easy to make. And they come out super cute. Like, seriously. Okay. So that's that. Now, the next step is you take um, double-sided tape or score tape, whatever you have on hand. And from here to here, you're going to go ahead and put tape. And then from here to here, you're going to put tape. Like that. And then you also want to cut these. You can cut them after, but I like cutting it before on the lines. You just go ahead and cut. This is going to be your bottom part of the cup like this. You can't see it because I put that there. But maybe in there you could see. See, those are the bottom pieces. So we're going to go ahead and cut these. Like that. All right, so then you're going to go ahead and fold this. When you fold it, don't fold it all the way down on this end because we want to put this tab in there. So let me show you what I mean. So we're going to go ahead and fold like that. Okay, also you need a piece of a double-sided tape here. Like that. Okay. And then you also need it on this side. Like this, I apologize. Like that. Okay. And then we're gonna fold this in. And this oops, like that. It goes right in there like that. And tuck it. You're probably better off using score tape, which is a little bit stronger. I'm just using this just for the video. Okay, you need to do that. I mean, this holds pretty well. That's pretty good tape that I have there. And then you see how what we're forming here? A nice little cup. Then you're going to take some adhesive again. And I'm going to put it down like this. It just makes it easier. Yeah. You do that. And you're going to do the opposites. So therefore... This one is opposite of this. So you're going to go ahead and place that down right up to the edge like that. Because you want this to curve in. So if you do this too far back, you're not gonna get the right look. So you wanna go all the way like that and hold that down. And then we're gonna do these opposites. So again, Run some tape. Let me do that. And last but not least, this one you could do the top and the bottom for added security. Stick it all together. And we have, voila, a part of the cup. See? Isn't that super cute? It's a little bit on the messy side. You could do, obviously, you're going to do a better job. I'm just trying to stay in frame in the camera, so, yeah, excuses, excuses, Michelle. But as you can see, this one came out pretty cool. I love this. I love it. Okay, so that's that. Now we have to do the handle. So, to do the handle, we are going to use my my big dog here, my Gemini, which I love. And basically, all I did was I used two circle die cuts. I believe this is one and a half and uh, one and a half and two inches, if I'm not mistaken. And I put them in like this together to just form this little piece here. See what comes out of it, just to show you, is this. So if you just use this obviously you're going to get the circle but if you use two together and you line them up just right where you have that space in between you get this so i cut two pieces of that and i'm going to glue them together to make them a little sturdier and we're going to be using that for the handle okay i said you didn't need your scoreboard again but i made a mistake i'm so sorry like i said i'm a little rusty bear with me you're going to need it to score 
um, for here, right there, okay? So basically you take your circle and I put it right in between a big number. I'm gonna do the three inches. And then I go to the left of it and I mark it, go down and I mark it. And then I go to the right of it one, so it's at one eighth of an inch and go straight down and mark it again. That's how it works best for me. Okay, then now we're done with the scoreboard for sure. Then we go ahead and we're going to just fold on those lines. It's that easy. I'm gonna take some glue, put it at the very edge there, the very end. And then, let me, let me zoom out a little bit. And then I like to put it at the edge where it's not that pretty. And we put it right around there, just like that. Okay, just give it a few minutes to dry. And then you're gonna go ahead and put a dab of glue in the center of this as well, like that. This way it's closed, like that. I have to let it dry. Let me zoom out. Okay. And then now we're going to do the pretty little um, piece in the center here. I'm gonna show you how I did that. So for that, as this is drying, we'll let that dry. I have this pretty stamp that says Merry Christmas. And I'm going to take my Versamark ink and I'm going to use a white circle for that. I think, oh no, I was gonna use another color. I was gonna use red. Let's use red instead. Okay, and then you, you try to center it. Okay, just like that. I don't know if you could see it. Look how pretty that is. And then we're gonna come in. Okay, so then I just put the Versamark ink on there and then I'm gonna come along with some green embossing uh, powder. And you just cover that up entirely. Now what I should have used was the embossing body first. That would eliminate any kind of static, but um, it looks like it's pretty okay. You come with like a little brush, not use your hands like I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside. And then I'm gonna come in with my handy dandy Crafters Companion. Um, no, Crafters Companion, I'm so sorry. My Heidi Swap. How pretty that turned out isn't that gorgeous I love doing heat embossing you know projects it really you know just puts it up a level or two honestly all right and then basically all you're going to do is put this on here like that take some glue throw that on there like so And 
look how pretty that looks guys isn't that pretty I love it now for the bottom piece you're gonna take a two inch um, again I used you know my um, Gemini you cut a two inch circle which I don't have I want to use a cream color and I only have oh I do have here we'll put this cream color down here like that just like that and voila guys isn't that so beautiful I love how it turned out I really do I might replicate it again in using uh, I prefer the 110 cardstock I just feel like it just feels better in my hands I mean this one just feels like so much sturdier I mean this is still wet so obviously it's you know it's fragile right now but I love the look of it so I think I'm gonna definitely do that in um, 110 cardstock anyway guys sorry for this first rusty video it's been a long time but I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. God bless.